Hello, I'm Pastor Tim. Welcome to this week's chapel service. We'll follow along with the words that get projected on your screen. Uh, I don't have them on my screen, so I'm going to go off of a piece of paper that I have here. We worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing a song. Upper graders who have had me for class before, you probably recognize this. Um, or maybe if you've, you've seen me walking around school, uh, or if you've come to visit me at, at church in my office, I usually have this on me. It's my, my water bottle. I've had it for a number of years, actually, since I was in grade school. And over that time, it has been collecting stickers. Every sticker that I get I put it on this water bottle. It's got stickers from shows that I like, games that I've played, movies that I've watched, music that I love. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff on here that, that might show you who I am, the things that I like. Some people show different things that they like. I got this, this cup from, from a member. People who are Arizona Cardinals fans have got their logo on, on cups like this. Or maybe they, they have a jersey or, or a hat or other things that they wear to show that they like that team. Whether it's the stickers that you put on a water bottle or the, the cups and the, the other merchandise and clothes that you buy, we show our love, we show our loyalty in a lot of different ways. So now the question is, who do you love? Who do you love? And how do you show it? You know, if you love your sports team, you, you show it by, by cheering them on, by, by being loyal to them. If you love your parents, you show it by listening to them, obeying them. One person that I hope you all love is 
Jesus. And loving Jesus means that sometimes we have to throw other things that want us to love them away. Sometimes loving Jesus means taking these things that we, we really like, that we've had a long time, that are really very important to us, and getting rid of them. But loving Jesus is, is important. In fact, loving Jesus is the most important important thing, more important than showing our loyalty to a sports team or letting people know the kinds of, of movies and shows and music that we like. Most importantly, we need to love Jesus. And Joshua understood that. Joshua says to all of the people of Israel, his whole nation, in very, very close to the end of, of what he said to them, the last thing, one of the last things he said to them as their leader, was this. He said, fear the Lord Jesus and serve him. Throw away the gods your parents worshipped and serve the Lord Jesus. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua loved Jesus. And that meant that Joshua was willing to throw a lot of things away. Loving Jesus means not just throwing away your Arizona Cardinals cup or that water bottle with all the cool stickers on it. Sometimes loving Jesus means that we have to throw away things that seem very important. As the Lutheran Church, I hope it's no secret that being a Christian means that you have to throw away certain traditional ways. And by throwing those things away, maybe that means that you have to throw away the love of your family. Because there are families that have been broken up because one person loves Jesus and other people don't so much. Joshua had to give up, throw away his own traditional ways and his own traditional religion. Like he said, throw away the gods your parents worshipped. That was important to them. That was part of who they were, or at least who they thought they were. And Joshua says, get rid of it. Throw it away. Why? Was it easier for Joshua to throw that stuff away than it is for us? Why could Joshua throw it away? Because Joshua knew that Jesus loves Joshua. Joshua could throw away anything because he knew how much God, the Lord, Jesus, loved him. It wasn't because Joshua was such a big fan of the Lord, but because of what the Lord did for Joshua. Joshua watched as the Lord brought the people out of slavery in Egypt in a powerful way. Joshua watched as God parted the Red Sea and allowed his people to walk across it on dry ground. Joshua woke up every day for 40 years and ate miraculous food that fell from heaven. Joshua knew how much the Lord loved him, but most importantly, Joshua knew that the Lord loved him enough to die for him. Jesus loves you that much. Loves you more than you love your favorite TV show, your favorite mu movie, your favorite music, your favorite sport team. Jesus loves you more than you love your family, more than your family loves you, more than you love traditions. Jesus loves you so much that he lived for you. Every single moment that he was on this earth was for you, because he loved you that much. Jesus loved you so much, he went to the cross, and he died and forgave all of your sins. And because Jesus was willing to throw away so much, he could have had all kinds of glory and all kinds of power, all for himself, but he threw it away, he got rid of it for you. And because of that, You, I, 
We can throw away anything. We can throw away everything. In fact, we will throw away anything that gets in the way of loving Jesus with our whole heart, serving the Lord with our whole lives. Let us throw our lives not away, but let us throw them into loving and serving the Lord Jesus, who first loved us. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, you mean the world to us. Thank you for saving us from the darkness of death. Please forgive us for being shy about our love for you. You certainly weren't shy about declaring your love for us. Help us speak to others about how great you are. Amen. This is my will, my one command, that love should dwell among you all. This is my will that you should love. As I have shown that I love you No greater love can any have Than that one die to save his friends You are my friends if you obey What I command that you should do I call you now, no longer slave But I chose you That you should go And bear much fruit I chose you out That you and me Should bear much fruit That will abide All that you ask My Father dear For my name's sake You shall receive This is my You can join me in the words on your screen from Psalm 34. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. let's join to pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. children go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.